To say that weapons need a lot of work would be a drastic understatement. Weapons is one aspect of gameplay that seems to get progressively worse as the years go on. It legit feels like they're moving in the complete opposite direction that they need to be going. What makes this even more of a slap in the face to longtime fans of the series is the fact when you think about the games that are over a decade old and still manage to have far superior weapon mechanics than anything 2K has done in recent years. And speaking as a fan of the series, it's honestly gotten to a point where it's become inexcusable. So what are some things that we could do to fix this? Let's talk about it. What's good WW2K fans? Welcome back to the channel. God bless and thank you guys for rocking with your boy. But anyway, let's jump right into this video. There needs to be a lot more variety when it comes to weapon strikes. We need to be able to mix up these attacks so things don't come off so predictable. Personally, I would love to see a variety of light and strong weapon strikes for each weapon. Light attacks would be a lot faster, but they would do far less damage and they would be a little harder to see coming. Whereas the strong attacks are a lot slower and a lot more predictable, but what they lack in speed, they make up for in damage. I don't think it's too much of an ask for 2K to add more weapon strike animations to the game. The exact same energy is needed for weapon grapples. Matter of fact, I would argue that these need even more energy because they are basically non-existent. I'm not absolutely sure why they were stripped out of the game, but here is hoping that they make a quick return and with a lot more variety. I think having at least one thumbstick and one neutral thumbstick weapon grapple would be a decent enough compromise. At this point, anything is better than nothing. It is time for weapon strikes and grapples to receive the moveset treatment. This has been long overdue. We need to be able to select our own weapon attacks for a majority, if not all weapons. The crazy thing is they allow this for ladders and tables, but we get nothing for the likes of chairs and kendo sticks. Giving us a decent variety of strikes and grapples for each weapon would help the weapon combat feel more unique and versatile. I would also like to see weapon attacks vary by position. Like the weapon attacks we get for standing opponents should be vastly different from the ones that we get from opponents that are kneeling or on the ground. Again, when it comes to any aspect of gameplay, man, versatility matters. We need a lot more creativity when it comes to weapon reversals. Like there is little to no variety, man. Everybody just does the same one or two reversals even down to the same animations. And it's even worse when one of the reversals is not even a legit reversal. They just make the chair magically pop out of your hand. Bottom line is there's way too much inspiration that they can draw from to keep going down this path. I feel like this is another situation where your fighting style, persona, and weight class need to come into play. So if we take a super heavyweight powerhouse archetype like Braun Strowman, a reversal for him may just be to simply no sell the chair shot and leave his opponent open for a counterattack. Or he may just snatch a kendo stick away from his opponent and break it over his knee. But on the other end of that spectrum, if you take a guy like Ricochet, he may dodge roll under a chair shot and then pop up and do a drop kick and kick the chair back in their face or something. And then we have the more character or persona based wrestlers like Undertaker. I think it would be fun to see Taker no sell a chair shot and then do his patented eye roll thing and scare the opponent into dropping a chair. Because most of the time you see him do that, they usually freak out and get scared. The point I'm trying to make is there's a lot of room for improvement here. And I for one would love to see 2K take advantage of that and give us some variety. I think I addressed this one in a previous video. But I would love to be able to drag or carry opponents over the prone weapons and be able to perform different interactions depending on the weapon. So say I drag somebody over to a chair and when I get close to it, it would give me a prompt to perform a chair attack. From there, maybe I could DDT them on the chair or hit them with a pile driver. And you could basically extend this philosophy for every weapon available. I also think the type of drag or carry should influence the type of interaction that you get with whatever weapon that you're interacting with. So if I drag a downed opponent face up towards the chair, then maybe the attack interaction I get would be maybe choking them with the chair. However, if I drag them towards the chair while they're face down, then maybe I'll do something like drive the chair into the small of their back. 
So as you guys can see, it could be a variety of different outcomes just depending on the positioning and the type of weapon that you encounter. Personally, I just feel like this is something that would add a lot of value to weapon gameplay. And just to reiterate a point I made in a previous video, I would definitely like to see some better weapon physics and collision detection. The game needs to acknowledge when wrestlers land on or collide with weapons. In these situations, I would love to hear the announce team acknowledge that the wrestler landed on a weapon and have them sell the collision with the weapon and maybe even give them a little more damage. This is one of those small changes that could really go a long way. Weapon usability and functionality is a standout low point. From simple ease of life things such as repositioning ladders and tables that have already been set up to being able to perform actions such as being able to open chairs or place them on specific limbs like we could once before in the past. We get none of that and that's a problem. They have to give us more functionality when it comes to weapons. I would love to have more ways to lean and position ladders and tables. Placing certain weapons on top of your opponent and then performing diving attacks. Or maybe even allowing us to climb the ropes or springboard with certain weapons so that we could perform aerial attacks. I'm just really throwing things out there, but the bottom line is we need more functionality when it comes to weapon combat. I'm not going to take too long on this one because I think this is another one that I touched on in a previous video. But weapon taunts would be a cool detail to have in the game. Especially when it comes to wake up taunts. I feel like this would be something that would just really help us set up weapon attacks. And like I mentioned before, it's just a cool aesthetic. Weapon variety is not really a big issue, but there are some honorable mentions that I would love to see making into the game. The most notable one being thumbtacks. Especially seeing as how they have found their way into a competitor's game, I think this definitely puts the pressure on 2K to add them into the series. Other things include like a lifting belt, especially like the one Cody Rhodes wears where you can take it off and maybe kind of whip your opponent with it. I would also like to see things like cinder blocks, water bottles, trash can lids, microphones, even like those big TV cameras. I would also love to have character and era specific weapons as well. Things like John Cena's necklace, Mick Foley's Barbie, Hacksaw's 2x4, and Al Snow's mannequin head. All right, that one might be a little too controversial, but what about Pepe? We'll say Pepe. I know these are kind of a reach, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask. But the one thing above all, if they are going to add new weapons, I want them to be unique. Meaning I want them to have their own set of attacks and functionality. I don't want them to be just reskins of another weapon. This is something I've always been curious as to why it never made it in the game. Like seriously, why don't we have any double team weapon attacks? On the base level, I think we should have things like assisted weapon attacks, where one guy restrains the opponent while the other delivers the attack. I think this could lead to some pretty dope spots, especially if the opponent manages to reverse the move and make you end up hitting your own partner. That would be pretty dope. But the things that I really want to see are the more noteworthy weapon attacks, like a 3D through the table. Like, why are we still not able to do this? Like, seriously, like, how long have the Dudleys been pulling this move off, and yet we still can't accomplish this move without pulling off some kind of witchcraft level trickery? Another move that has seemed to escape the series is a two-man concerto. Until recently, we were able to pull off the one-man concerto. But as fans of wrestling, we all know that this move initially started off as a two-man attack by Edge and Christian. So again, I'm confused as to why we're not able to do things like this. We also have to address the scarcity when it comes to ladder moves and announce table moves. I think we can all agree that art definitely does not imitate life when it comes to these two categories. Because if I'm being honest, we don't even get a fraction of what we've seen from real life shows. Like, I really don't understand some of the weird limitations 2K put in place for some of these situations. Like, why can't we perform diving finishers off ladders? And there should be a lot more ladder finishers and grapples, man. I'm just saying. And when it comes to the announce table, man, admittedly, they've never really been all that creative. We should definitely have a lot more interactions when it comes to the announce table. And I will definitely address those in another video. But for right now, what I'm concerned is why don't we have very many announce table finishers that don't require us to climb on top of the announce table? 
Like that's always been kind of weird to me because there is plenty of reference material that they can go by if they need some ideas. But please 2K fans, chime in on this one, man. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What are some aspects of weapon gameplay that you would personally like to see change? What are some new moves or something that you maybe would like to see added into the next iteration of the WWE 2K series? Let it be known. As always, I truly appreciate you guys rocking with me, man. Thank you for checking out the video. I give all the praise and glory to God. Do me a favor. If you rock with the content, please go ahead and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Share the video. Later, 2K fans. God bless.